all three play games, but which one should you buy? Let's get right into it. guys welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by i hope you guys are doing well today i got a fun one for you it's the mobile gaming controller battle now i got three mobile gaming controllers here which i'm sure you guys have seen on my channel already but we have the mgx pro gameseer x2 and the razer kishi now each of these gaming controllers on their own are in their own right pretty good decent controllers with my personal favorite being this rig mgx pro but i guess what i wanted to do for this video is just see which one should you buy which one is worth it, the price now this rig mgx pro i paid a hundred dollars for this off of amazon this GameSeer X2, I believe, was around $70, again from Amazon. And this Razer Kishi was actually $100 from Best Buy. So, which one is worth the price? That's what we will be getting into, and hopefully by the end of this video, you guys can decide for yourself which one you should pick up, or if any, at all. But let's go ahead and start with just a comparison and the feel of these controllers. So starting with the MGX Pro, this controller, as you can see, mimics the Xbox controller very well. It's specifically meant for Xbox Game Pass. As you see, it has the Xbox button here, the Xbox Home button, the menu button, Y, X, A, and B. The joysticks feel just as it would on an Xbox controller. D-pad, nice, clicky. You have your screen share button, or not screen share, but take a picture of your screen. So screenshot button on this controller as well. You charge this controller because it is Bluetooth. So you will be charging this controller here uh, with a USB type C connection and it will not charge your phone while it's connected. Um, and then this is what you will use to connect your phone to Bluetooth. So you would just hold this button and then you will go into your phone settings under Bluetooth, find the MGX Pro and hit connect. Very simple setup. This GameSeer X2 controller, this reminds me more of something like my Nintendo DS here, see? I don't know if it's just me, but kind of similar, in my opinion, minus the buttons, of course, and the joystick, but just the overall size and look, that's what this kind of reminds me of. But as you can hear, this is really clicky. The buttons on here is really clicky. And so you have the R2, R1, L1, L2, you have the game sear home button you have another home button here and i'm i believe this is just to get you back to your home screen on your phone um you have your usb type c connection here d-pad nice and um nice and clicky but the feedback is is pretty good i like the feel of this uh, the D-pad on this GameSeer X2, in my opinion, is a little better than the MGX Pro. Just the feel of it. But you also have X, Y, B, and A. Nothing on the back. And you have your USB Type-C charging port here. So with the GameSeer X2, you will plug your USB Type-C uh, cable into this port here and it will charge your phone as you're playing your game. So that's the one cool thing about this GameSeer X2 that you will not find on this rig MGX Pro. And then we have the Razer Kishi. And so this one extends like this. It is also designed for the Xbox Game Pass. As you see, it has the Y, B, A, X. You got your menu button here. 
you got your Xbox home button there. You got your screenshot button there. And again, the D-pad on this one is actually not bad either. Not as clicky as the GameSeer X2, but not bad. And the joysticks, they feel pretty good. Nice and smooth. Just do a little size comparison between the Rig MGX Pro and this Razer Kishi. And then just comparing it against this Game Seer X2. So guys, what I want to do is just run through some games using each of the controllers just so you guys can see if there's any latency issues compared to uh, just how these controllers compare to one another. Um, we're going, going to be using this blue B91 smartphone just so I know that everything fits and um, we shouldn't have a problem with one of these controllers not fitting the phone. I've tested it with the blue V91 and this does fit in each of these controllers. So guys, hang tight and I'll transition right, into some guys, games. we're back. But before we jump into some gaming, I just wanted to show you quickly, starting with the Razer Kishi, that connecting a USB type C cable to the mobile gaming controller will charge your phone. In this case, so let me go ahead and toss this blue V91 in here, show you guys. As you see, the light is on now. And it says gamepad connected. So let's go ahead and jump into some gaming. Try to keep this camera flare from this ring light flare from disturbing you guys' view. So far I'm controlling it just fine. By the way, this is Asphalt 8. This is also supposed to be compatible with the Game Sphere controller, so we'll be trying that next. So far, not noticing any lag at all. Running pretty well.
Game series also not doing bad. I don't notice any lag at all. No latency so far. starting lineup. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. Hall and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Aiden in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's a good find from Aiden, understanding the defensive scheme. And he just waited for his teammate to be open. Now here's Griffin. Pass to Barnes. Six on the shot clock. Here's Paul. And Aiden pulls it down. Outside Paul. Let's go with a three. Knocks it down from distance. And CP3 is so good at choosing when he unleashes his three-point arsenal. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to some of that light gaming coming from these mobile gaming controllers playing asphalt 8 and nba 2k 22 so which one should you buy i guess that's really going to boil down to what exactly you're going to be playing with these mobile gaming controllers if you're just going to be sticking to the games that are on the android market i would recommend something like the game Sear x2 I say that because when playing games from the Game Pass using this the Game Sear X2, I find that some of the controls are a little backwards. For instance, when playing NBA 2K, pass will usually be A, but on this controller, it's B. Uh, and you'll find just things like that playing multiple different Game Pass games some of the controls that you expect the buttons that you expect to say jump or duck might be opposite so this is mostly meant for those recommended games um, on the Android market 
This controller will come with a manual that does tell you some games that are preferred that work best with this controller, as well as a link to the site, the GameSeer X2 site, where it does tell you all compatible games. But if you plan on just sticking to the Android market for about $65, $70, I definitely go with this one. Now, if you're somebody that's going to be playing on the Xbox Game Pass a lot, in addition to games on the Android market, between the Razer Kishi and MGX Pro, both at $100, I would honestly recommend the MGX Pro. This is by far my favorite one of the three my favorite mobile gaming controller this feels like an xbox controller also i didn't have any issue fitting my s22 ultra into this controller i tried and my s22 ultra would not fit in this razor kishi it barely fits in the game Sear x2 but the overall experience on the mgx pro it's pretty good. The Bluetooth is not laggy. I didn't really notice any latency except for when playing um, NES simulator games. So a uh, sub recommended me trying Silver Surfer on NES, uh, which is an emulator. And I will say all three of these controllers showed latency and lag with that specific game, which I hadn't really seen on any other game. So guys, I hope after watching this, this helps you decide a little bit which one is the best controller for you. Of course, it's gonna differ, but for me, I'd say the winner of this mobile gaming controller battle is the Rig MGX Pro. The Razer Kishi is very nice and I like it. It's just not compatible with my main phone. And also at this price for $100, I prefer this Rig MGX Pro. Thanks guys, I appreciate you watching. Just a reminder, I will be giving away this Game Series X2 controller, so stay tuned for another video. Make sure you're subscribing and liking. Appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Somebody's gotta sponsor me after all this. <laughs>